I am back and with some more Mass Effect Legendary Edition. We're on episode 18 of the Let's Play. <laughs> um, we're continuing right where we left off last time and we're going to crack on. As always, seeing what we get up to and uh, yeah, it's been alright. Um, we've done quite a bit of planet exploration last time. Um, but just as we finished, um, this Rex mission popped up. Uh, Rex must know something about Rex must know something about the armor you found on Tantayun. Talk to him about and see what he can tell. What he can tell you about it. Okay. So yeah, let's see what Rex has to do. It might not be too big as I thought, but it might lead into something with Rex, which would be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, just cracking on as always. Um, last day for this rotation so there should be some dying light later on today and that'll be it for this rotation uh i'm gonna try and make next rotation four days in a row so from tomorrow the next four days should be the next rotation and i'm gonna try and do with them daily but we'll see um but if i do next rotation daily it'll probably be the rotation after f all the f multiple rotations after we'll do it on and off I'll have to just see. Um, yeah, it's been all right. Um, I've been having a good time with Mass Effect, and I'm thinking. I, I did say last episode. I'm thinking once I've done Halo Infinite, we'll just focus on Mass Effect and Assassin's Creed and stuff. Um, I don't think I'll replace it with um, what you call it. I don't think I'm going to replace it with. Um, uh, Elden Ring or anything like that. Cause like, it's just too much, I think. Be nice to focus on this and get into it a bit more. But yeah, let's uh, see what Rex is up to. I found this armor. Does it belong to you? Let me see. Damn. This is it. Hard to believe my ancestors wore this piece of crap. But at least it's back where it belongs. Thanks, Shepard. I might be starting to like you after all you're getting soft huh. on me Rex <laughs> just because I like you doesn't mean I wouldn't kill you <laughs> oh, uh, I can't Rex. can I give him that armor I want to give him something better. <laughs> I don't want him to. I, want, I, don't, I don't want him to have pink. <laughs> Rex is gonna kill me. <laughs> yeah, I can have blue. That, that's better. Wonder if that would be good for me. Oh no. Cooldown bonus. Duration bonus. That's pretty good. Might do that. I want to sell up, but it's just so much fucking work. Selling, like I, I'm like got max capacity. I can't carry it anymore. Surprised to see you here, sir. Thought you'd be chatting up. What's her name? Liara. Why would you think that? Scuttlebutt says you got a bit of a thing for her. I could understand why. The crew's off limits with the regs against fraternization, and at least she looks like a woman. You think I'm interested in Liara because she's the only one I'm allowed to date? So, you are interested in her? Of course, it 
could be politics. Alien diplomat's daughter, us under orders to make nice with the bug-eyed monsters. Anyway, interested in a quick drink? It's a special occasion. What's the occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and the list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. Don't tell me you're blamed for that. Not formally. Dad got passed for promotion over and over. And I think my record merits more than garrison duty in a backwater agri colony. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. Is this why you're always going on about the Council? If everyone else can look at Shanxi and say, this is why humanity needs to be stronger, then so can I. I'm entitled. So, you still interested in me? Baggage and all? Everyone comes with baggage, Ash. The trick is finding a match set. <laughs> That's awful. Tell me you got that out of a fortune cookie. But hey, once we save the galaxy, maybe the Alliance will get its act together. Start acting like an actual government. The Alliance isn't perfect, but it does well enough. Have to disagree with you there, Skipper. Giving aliens the run of our most advanced ship? Kowtowing to the Council? So you think my letting aliens on board was kowtowing to the Council? That came out wrong. We may not always agree, but you get the job done for the Alliance. The Council races will always think of themselves first. It's... human nature. We can't afford to trust them. Not if the survival of humanity is on the line. Ash, you believe in God, an infallible, all-knowing creator with a plan for the universe. You think the diversity of views in the galaxy wasn't part of that? I don't know what God intends, Shepard. I don't think humans have some divine mandate, if that's what you mean. I don't think we're superior. We need to know what to expect out here. We've met aliens who oppose us, but don't want to destroy us. Maybe it's an opportunity to learn. Well, that's... Huh. I guess I never thought of it that way. All big picture, I mean. It doesn't make what happened to Grandad any better, though. I'll pull strings to keep you under my command. I don't hold your family against you. You'll get what you deserve. The brass will think I'm trading you favors for promotions. My favors don't come that cheap. You have to do better than that to keep me by your side, Shepard. I have a feeling things will come to a head soon. But don't worry, Shepard. I'll protect you. <laughs> What's your opinion on the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were dangerous, Skipper. They proved that 2,000 years ago. I think it was a mistake to let them go. But that wasn't my call to make. It was yours. You know, you really should talk to Tassoni about her mom. She has to be hurting. Just saying, Skipper. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, Skipper. Hmm, maybe. I, I, I seem spoken to people, though. Maybe. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. I would actually quite like that hat. 
Uh, sledgehammer rounds. I kind of want to sell this shit. Can I do old? Name level. Ah, here we go. This might be a better way to do it. Now, selecting them as junk is kind of tedious. Oh, it'd be better if it was just a button. If I was pressing the Y button, then the right stick is to sell it all. I think we'll get through this five, level five stuff and then we'll sell it all up. Got quite a bit of money. Because I'm pressing the right stick and it's not registering sometimes. There's a delay. It's really fucking tedious. <laughs> this is so tedious. I don't think this is in the old game though. There we go. Alright, um... So what should we do since that was done so quickly? Um... I think these are all collectible missions. So I guess we go do one of these. Uh, we could do Pharaohs, Race Against Time, Vermeer. Oh, yeah, that's a big story beat. We'll go to Pharaohs. We'll go to Pharaohs. Um, I'll actually read up on the quest before we do it, though. Um, but yeah, um, I think it'll be good to end up. Alternating just between Halo Infinite, um, not Halo Infinite, Mass Effect, and um, Assassin's Creed. Once we finish this Let's Play, um, um, Halo Infinite's Let's Play. I mean, um, and I know that I had a lot of thoughts on Elden Ring, but I think that'll be better when I have nothing else to play and I want to play something new. I think that'll be a good time to do it because right now. I've seen a lot of Elden Ring, and that's something that I could easily get bored of if I'm playing it, you know. It might be a game that I'm only good at watching it, sort of thing. Uh, so, the Geth have attacked the world of Pharos. The primary objective is to go to the Zoo Hope Colony and to investigate what Saren is after, and why he sent his Geth troops to the planet. Investigate Ferris to see why the colony was attacked by death. Okie dokie. Well, let's go here. We'll just scan up and see what's there. Guess we've already been here, but I don't know. I already been here, so it seems familiar. Message coming in. Patching it through. Normandy, this is Alliance Command. We're detecting your presence in the Attican Beta Cluster. One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on Geth activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. 
You need to go ground side and recover the drone's data module before the Geth find it. It's on this planet. In this galaxy, or... Might be. Do play it. Exploration this. Because um, I'm not sure how much longer we've got of this let's play, really. Um, so I think we've still got quite a bit of time. I reckon we could probably get to like episode 30, maybe, of this. I guess we'll see. been in before. Looks like a window. Like, you know the you know the old um, windows. Um, you know that old windows wallpaper. Like, it's just like hilly mountains and a perfect blue sky. Like this kind of looks like it. Kind of a cool looking map though. surveillance drone but where's the data module monk a creature like monkey seems to have made off the this data will not module. be easy Weird that they like this planet. Really has no monkey gun. What the fuck? Fuck it. I don't remember this at all. <laughs> Actually, maybe I do. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> kind of look like that creature from um, Ma Metro. Uh, the little... Uh, is it Dark One? Baby? I don't have to kill them, do I? This is why you humans have such a violent reputation. Shit, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you lead, I'll follow. Well, anger, do I, uh... Can you see your renegade thing? Oh, yeah. Mostly good, and I? I'm a good boy. So I guess that's...
What a weird mission. Did I miss something on that other one? Because I didn't scan them like that. Hmm. You double check the last one. Because I didn't scan them like that. few monkey can't. It's gonna be like a random thing, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go back. Can I run him over? I think you can. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Kinda cool, some actual wildlife. Like on some of the other planets there's like no wildlife or anything. Oh uh, that's one thing they, they could have done with these maps. They could have added like open world stuff, definitely. Um
Looks interesting. <laughs> so are they like sentient? Are they the ones that set up this place or what? It is a miracle the data module is still intact. Your pilot should be able to relay this info to your superiors. Already? That was a bit coincident. Ah! Third time's the charm. Okay, got that then. Oh shit. It's kicking off. I never get I press Y. I don't want that didn't even register. That was weird. Oh nice, <laughs> that was good. Oh, that was so sad. <laughs> that was pretty good. I think we're done here. Would have been funny if the monkeys were fighting. Helping. A bit like uh, Star Wars with the uh, what they call them, the Wookie. Uh, the little, uh, little uh, furballs. Pretty good shots there. Same for the leg spike. That turned out all right. <laughs> It's 
a little bit more to this planet. But, um... Maybe if we get this planet done, we'll beat it. So if we're going to go to the next planet, which is more storage... Might be a good idea to hold off on that area, maybe? Unless for some reason this is it, but I don't think it's the one that they're talking about. Maybe, even if it's like 45 minutes, maybe we leave it there. Hmm, yeah, maybe. Because... Because then, next time we're going to get into some story stuff then, like, major stuff that... Um... We haven't touched. Um... I they want me to scan these No, I don't think. Surely they won't want me to scan these people, please. No. Alright, I guess we'll leave it then. So it'd be weird to get into story stuff at an end of video. I think the area that I'm thinking about, like, it's quite a big script, it's like, a, it's like the uh, Ragnarok quest line, it's going to be quite a few episodes within that area, so... Uh, it'd be good to get, start from the whole episode and do it. There'll probably be a lot of lore dump. Things like that. Failing these today. I'm not a fan of the blue one, like the X. But that doesn't seem to be very clear when that pops up, because the blue <laughs> it lights up a bit more than the normal, but it's still kinda highlighted from the get-go. Are oh, they all are? Oh, you can see the yellow, you can see the blue, and red, and green. It's really quite a pretty map, isn't it? Kind of bit like Halo esque, isn't it? Halo Infinite. Oh, that's the thing, they could have had like trees and stuff. And they could, like, for the remaster, they could have added a lot more to these open worlds, I think. I think they could have done a lot more to this, but they just didn't. But it's still fine, this, uh, I still like the planet restoration in this, but I feel like they could have remastered these these maps a lot more. Like they do kind of feel a little bit half-assed. What is this? This is different. I don't think we've seen anything like this yet. Recover artifact. Big 
examine strange Promethean artifact reveals a small regular slot on the underside of the remembering the strange tinkering you received from an Asari console on the Citadel. You pull it out and place it into the slot. The ball explodes in a brilliant flash of white light. Momentarily blinds and disorients the HU. Slowly your senses return as you wake from a deep sleep. You are alone in a forest through you are not far from a cave you share with others of your tribe. There is pain and a small lump on the back of your skull as if a chip or a flint has been forced under the surface of his skin leaning on your bone tipped spear for support you raise your feet and a sound draws attention upwards where a strange creature hovers high above you. It's unlike the birds you hunt, the lake edge. It's no it has no head and no wings, it somehow flies. It is a beast of shining silver hanging motionless in the sky like a cloud you sense it's watching you studying you or a reaper that's cool oh more um raising a ha ha raising a hairy fish you make your spear at it and anger the creature rises up and quickly until it disappears from view. With a satisfied grunt you make your way back to your cave and rest and the rest of your tribe. You fall into a familiar pattern of life. The hunt for food, the struggle for calm and the keep and keep a mate. Batteries against other tribe the battles against other tribes that would have calmed your territory days roll into nights and back into days. Each time you raise rise from your sleep there's another s sensation that you are not alone, that some other is with you sharing all you see, hear and feel. At these times your hands go to a strange limp at the back of the school and remember the silver creature in the sky. <laughs> the air grows colder, winters fall, you must range further up for food, clutching the fur tight against the ward off the chill. It's one of these long hunts that the strange bird returns. You hear it before you see it. It calls a defiant roar and it descends from above, swooping down on you. A single great eye opens and on the underbelly and glowing red or uh, you try to run but finger off the red extends from the eye and engulfs you and all goes black. 
<laughs> a proper UFO stuff, really. You wake on an instant later and find on an alternate lying on your back. The Parisian artifact looming above you, damaged and your companions standing over you. They help you to your feet, puzzled. There was a flash and you just toppled over, explains. One explains. And you are, are you okay, Shepard? The other asks. <laughs> this is so like, <laughs> they just could have be asked to get like this all put together. Like this would have been a cool like, flashback movie. Like they could remake State Mass Effect to do this sort of stuff. Like, this would be kind of a cool little flashback mission really. Um, you don't answer right away, wondering at the implications of what you have seen. The memories of the co Mangleton Hunter captured by the implanted Parisian data concord. How long did they study the primitive humans, observing them and then analyzing the results at their base on Mars? And what, if anything, did they learn from us? I'm fine, you finally reply, realizing this is a mystery you probably never solved. <laughs> Brilliant. Forget about it. <laughs> Brilliant. Let's just forget about everything that just happened here. <laughs> That's so freaking. Let's have a little bit of a ride round. Um, maybe go down here or something. Um, and then we'll probably wrap up. That's kind of interesting. They're like the Reapers have been studying them for y yonkers. I wonder if it's the. I, oh, the Reapers are around, but it's the uh, what's it called? The uh, is it the Le Leviathan or like I can't remember the leader. Um, he has a name. The one in this game, we, like we only see one Reaper in this throughout this the whole of Mass Effect One. This Reaper. I'm guessing it's the same Reaper. Probably that date. Right? Sorry for my reading, like reading from my sofa tired out my mind. <laughs> They've got like stupid text that are, like the smallest possible. It's fucking annoying, but I think I got for it alright. <laughs> and that would like I I like, I think they could remake Mass Effect 1. Like more or less like a remaster but um remake it. Like like you could imagine a modern version of that situation where like um where Shepard would collapse in a cutscene after reading that and then you play through that um tribal somewhat story arc and then wake up and you've got whoever's following you talk like cause you could see that that's probably what they wanted to do but they just didn't have a way to implement it maybe it is like, I wonder how long it took for them to um it's weird that the reapers attack them now because reapers they only attack when this population has reached a certain point isn't it or yeah I think it's a certain population isn't it I think we'll leave it because I think we've got the most out of this. I think I will do. Really, um, I think we'll go back to the Normandy. That's not what I wanted. Um, I think I'm going to leave it here. I know it's only 45 minutes, but going on to 50. But I'm thinking next time we can get into the proper story stuff then with Pharos. I think. 
have a quick look. Um, yeah, we'll go to Pharos then and do some story, like main story stuff, which we haven't touched yet. Um, and I think it'll be good like that. Um, but yeah, it's been a good, good old time. Um, uh, I know today wasn't too exciting. But, um, I think it's a good, uh, it'll be good for next, the next two. And like I said, um, I really doubt, um, it'll take me too long for me to get into Mass Effect, um, well, to finish off Halo Infinite. I think it's going to be a lot of trial and error, and I'm not sure if <laughs> I'll complete it by episode, like I th originally thought. I think it might take a little bit longer than that. Um, like it's gonna be a bit of persevering with that game until I complete it. But once we have, I think I'm gonna just focus on um, Assassin's Creed and Mass Effect for my morning videos, and then what would be alternating is my evening videos a bit more. Well, one rotation will have like stated cable more or less to stay the same, um, but it'll be um, what's it? No ma um, it'll be No Man's Sky and Dying Light that will be alternating each rotation and everything will more or less stay the same um, but it's always a good time in Mass Effect um, I could have probably done another hour or two but I'm just thinking it'll be better for the next episode to draw a dive straight back into some main story stuff which we've kind of neglected the past few episodes doing quite a lot of side stuff good side stuff but I'm planning exploration but I think this would be a good excuse to get into some story stuff um, for next episode and um, we'll see what we can get up to then um, but always a good time in Mass Effect and I think once we finish Halo I'll be able to get into this a lot more because the annoying thing is by the time I get I've got to go through a whole nother rotation to get to Mass Effect in the rotation after which is kind of like because I've come back to Mass Effect thinking, oh, what am I doing next, or what did I do before? Whereas, say Assassin's Creed, it's relatively been pretty close to the last episodes I did. Um, so I'm kind of having the similar thing with Halo. Like, I'm coming back to him. Like, what am I did? What did I do last time? It's not too bad with Halo because it's a shorter game, but Mass Effect, there's so much we've done so far. There's so much more still to do in Mass Effect One, and then we've got Mass Effect Two and Three to come. Um, so it'd be good to focus on these and get them done and um, especially when like Mass Effect could leave at any stage because it's a Game Pass game um, it's all up to EA really but always a good time in Mass Effect and then uh, I'll be, there'll be some more soon um, like I said there uh, should have been some dying, there should be some dying light later on today and there was some yesterday evening as well um, and State Decay, the Commonwealth should have started up recently. Hopefully that's been a good time. Um, and that's it for this rotation really, besides another Dying Light later on. Um, and then I'm going to try and do the next four days daily, but I'll see how it goes, if it isn't, if it isn't. It'll be alright. There's still going to be videos coming up over the next few days anyway. Um, I'm not stopped. Um, I'm just going to try and alternate or like I'm going to have to kind of determine what I want to do with uploads. Like some days they'll be every day, some days they'll be on and off. But um, I'm not stopping at all though. Um, I, I'm loving this, no matter how tired I am. <laughs> It'll be good. Um, but yeah, we'll be back with some more Mass Effect soon. And, and as always, thanks for watching if you've been watching. And um, yeah, just thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.